Take a look at this. Surveillance cameras captured the moment a tractor trailer got stuck on the tracks with a train speeding right toward it. That collision sent steel rods from the truck flying everywhere, causing some serious damage and knocking out power there. Channel 11's Renee Wallace is live at 6 after talking to a woman whose mother had to run for her life. Renee? Lisa, I can tell you the moment of impact was right behind me, right in the middle of this train crossing. To my left here tonight, you can see work continues. All those sparks, they're cutting up those steel rods, trying to get them untangled because literally they are in piles over there and that car still over there into that building. We scouted around today in order to get some surveillance video to show everybody the moment of that impact. The engineer just laid on his horn and my mom grabbed her dog and ran. You would run too. Check out the video of the crash shared with Channel 11. The driver of a tractor trailer initially stomps at a train crossing in Blonox, then suddenly hits the gas, but the northbound train is faster. The back end of the truck's flatbed literally cut in half by the train, taking out power lines and traffic lights and sending 47,000 pounds of steel flying. No injuries. Thank God. But the damage stretched for nearly a block. Cars were crushed beneath steel rods, which seemed to be everywhere. The tractor trailer was in pieces. The front cab intact, but the back end was severed. We saw part of the flatbed beneath a crushed car. Folks told us they were amazed with that kind of debris hurtling through the air that no one was hurt. My mom's okay. Yes, my Thank mom goodness. is okay. Cheryl's mom is Bunny, a Bunny's laundry service. Bunny told us. And then I went like this into my coat and then I heard the bang. Bunny shop sits right right at the train crossing and her only thought was to save her little dog Casey. I ran with her in the shop and I was just doing one of these waiting because I knew it was going to hit. And just like all this cleanup here tonight, the investigation into what happened here, well that continues. Reporting live in Blonox, I'm Renee Wallace, Channel 11 News.